boys and girls. I'm Fireman Cam, and we have a very fun episode today. Today, we're going to be learning about the history of firefighting and how it all started by reviewing the first documented structure fire. But what is a structure? A structure is a building or another object constructed from several parts and make one standing structure. Come on, let's go find out more. turn. I'm going to go ask that father over there getting ready for the baseball game for directions. Hello, I'm Fireman Cam. I'm Leon. We're doing a story about the history of the fire service, but we can't find the firehouse. I've been to the east, we've been to baseball fields, I've traveled I, to the west. I'd tell someone that it's across the river. Where's that? Right over there. Over there? Yes. Thank you. first discovered by us humans over a million years ago, but the first documented structure fire wasn't until 1608 in the colony of Jamestown. Captain John Smith was an English explorer, colonial governor, and author, amongst other things. He played a very important part in the development of Jamestown, Virginia, and we have Captain Smith's journal entry from that day. Right here, let's take a look. <clears throat> Most of our apparel, lodging, and private provisions were destroyed. I began to think that it is safer for me to dwell in the wild Indian country than in this stockade, where fools accidentally discharge their muskets and others burn down their homes at night. Firefighting has been around for generations, and it all started when one Augustus Caesar created the first fire department in 24 BC. The group, Familia Publica, was made up of slaves, and they would uh, be stationed around the city to patrol and keep watch for fires. Benjamin Franklin, a name many of you might know, and if you don't, don't worry, you're learning, that's why you're here, Benjamin Franklin was one of our founding fathers, and he created the lightning rod, amongst other inventions, which led to the discovery of electricity. In the year 1736, Benjamin Franklin also created the first group of volunteer firefighters in Philadelphia. This was the first group ever in the United States. Coming up on the 1800s marks some of the larger breakthroughs throughout firefighting history. In 1841, the first steam-powered, self-propelled fire truck was created, and it was a big game changer. Before that point, our fire trucks were carts or wagons being pulled by horses led by the mighty and iconic fireman's best friend, a dog, or more iconically, the Dalmatian. But that's not important, because mm, right now we're talking about the history of putting out fires. Long ago, before the convenience of the cart, firemen used fire buckets in order to put out fires. As tedious as that sounds, 
all citizens of the town were required to leave a filled fire bucket of water outside at the door in the event of a fire so that the firemen don't have to run back and forth to the nearest watering hole. Now, jumping back to the 1800s, in 1841, there was the invention of the fire truck. But it wasn't until 1868 when the aerial ladder was invented. An aerial ladder is a large, extendable ladder that can reach up to 100 feet in the air. That's about the size of 100 Maggie Mays. Thanks, Maggie. By 1910, fire engines had become motorized. They only evolved more and more from there. Uh, fire trucks now are standardized with ladders, sirens, and all the latest technology to make them as safe as they can be and well equipped for any problem. We as firemen work as hard as we can to ensure your safety and today we are recognized as an all hazard response. All hazard response units mean that we don't only come to the rescue for fires, but also hurricanes, floods, tornadoes, earthquakes, and oil spills, to name a few. That means no matter what, we or other trusted members of our fire team will always be there to help you at any time of the day or night. If you need help in case of an emergency, just dial 911 and we'll be there to get the job done. Now, we may be an important member of the life-saving team, but we don't do it alone. We have help from other first responder friends like EMTs and policemen. We'll learn a little bit more about other first responders in future episodes. Now, we have only one more important, very important team member in all of this, and that is you. We would not be able to respond as fast as we can if it wasn't for the help of our cooperative community learning to pull to the right when you hear the sirens and see the lights. So be sure that when you learn to drive or if you can drive already, be sure to pull over on the right side of the road when you see the lights and hear the sirens. Don't try to speed up and make that turn before we get there. Just pull over and I promise we'll be by you in a flash because of you clearing the way. I hope you learned a lot today and had fun doing it. I know I did. I'm Fireman Cam. I'll see you next time.